Hey everyone, how are you? Happy Wednesday. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's been a while. Uh, I'm a little rusty feeling. I didn't even know how to work everything. <laughs> but I have something new I want to show you today. Um, so let me really quickly, I'm gonna, I almost didn't send a text, but because it seems like no one is even paying attention to that anymore and I'm paying for it, so I'm gonna, um, but I decided to go ahead and do it, uh, and we'll just see. We'll see if people come on. If not, I'm just gonna kind of cancel this. Um, so, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, and we are gonna, uh, just get started here real quickly. If I can find myself again. All right, there I am. Make sure it sounds off. All right, if you hop on, say hello. Let me see if I can get the comments working on here. Um, get this straight. All right, here we go. So y'all, I have got, um, so I've had this for a while and I just haven't used it, but um, I got to thinking, you know, I just want to do something different. I'm, I'm getting a little tired of the same old thing and seeing the same old things. Um, but anyway, so I've got this mesh stencil here by Amy Howard, and I do have an affiliate link until I can um, uh, start selling them. Oh my goodness, am I frozen? Mm. Let me know if I'm frozen. Okay, well, just if it will spit. But let me show you real quick. So um, I had a pillow um, cover, okay? One of these um, like drop cloth type pillow covers that I ordered from Hobby Lobby. Okay, Hobby Lobby, but look, I think this is right. Okay, look, isn't this so cute? Okay, so you can see what the stencil is like. It has the birds on these branches and all these little flowers. So pretty, y'all know I love the birds. Um, and so it was a great little fit on this too. Now, I did it earlier, and so I'm gonna let it dry before I put a pillow in there, and then I'm gonna heat set it. So I'm gonna put like a really light piece of fabric over it, handkerchief, something like that, and I'm just gonna heat set it with my iron, and that's supposed to make it permanent, okay? So I'm gonna put this back over here, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is, y'all. It's so stinking easy. Um, all right, Betty, hey, 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 Debbie. Hey, Marty, how goes it? From Texas. Liz is here and Meg. Yes, they are fantastic. And I'm gonna have to apologize or either eat crow because just the other day I said, you know what, I don't really like those mesh stencils. I don't wanna have to um, clean them, put them, you know, clean them really quickly. I, I, I will ruin them, but y'all, <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I, I just thought it would be kind of like really light and faded, kind of like ink. You know, when I hear ink, it's usually kind of pale. But, so I also have this um, gel ink, okay? Well, let me do it like this. And this color is Hold Your Horses, okay? So, I've just got a plate right here, and I'm just gonna pour some out, squeeze some out, not pour it out, okay? I'll just get a little bit. Now, the only thing I'm worried about, because in the other one, I mixed the gray. I mixed it with a little metallic gold. It didn't show up really on the pillow. I got worried. It showed up a little bit right here. Um, and, and that is where on my stencil, it's still a little gold right there where it's supposed to be clear. So we're gonna see what happens. Um, you can use a credit card. Um, any kind of little card. I'm gonna actually use this, um, see if it works. But y'all, so here's my pillow. Here's my pillowcase. So I have another one. Okay, let me just show you real quickly. Well, I don't, I got it centered. But here's the pillowcase. I put two, um, and it's those they zip in the back. So I put a little plastic thing there, just in case it went through. I don't think it would, because this is pretty thick. But this is kind of sticky on the back. It's probably not sticky anymore because I've had it laying everywhere after I washed it. So it's picked up a bunch of junk. All right, but this this is all you do. Um, let's see. Hey, kitty. Hey, Joycey. You poured one. All right, you poured resin. Resin on your cheek. That's all right. Just don't get it in your hair. Don't get, or just don't forget about it. Remember, I got it in my bangs and I literally had to take my bangs and like split them like this. 
It was awful. Um, so anyway, look, I got it on this plate. I'm just gonna start up here. So it's not covering it exactly. See how I have it overhanging just a little bit? But let's see how this, earlier I used my credit card. And you just fill it in. I know y'all have probably used these before, but I haven't until earlier today. I'm trying to think, do I, is that gonna be good or do I need my credit card? It's doing good though, see, it just covers up and all it does is cover up where it's um, clear. Um, and so, I did have a little card. I could actually use, I could actually use a um, transfer stick, but there's a card, but you know what? This, you actually could, not use as much, right? You don't want to get it all over where you don't need it. So just on the little parts that's uh, clear. And I even found myself like scraping it like this and then moving it to another little spot. See that? So I bought this a while back thinking, um, and I still think I'm gonna do it. I wanna do this. You see how big this is? It's like a, how big is this? It's like an 18 by 18. I was gonna do my um, bathroom, just my powder bath with this on the wall. And so that's why I'm just kind of practicing with it to see. Um, I just, it's just so much better than I thought it was, so. I have to take what back what I said. Who has used this before? Let me know. Do you have any tips, any tricks? Now, I'm going to do some art with these as well, of course. Of course, of course. Um... But I think it would be really neat, you know, because I'm not painting the background, as you can see. I'm just, just like stenciling it on, okay? But, you can use any color inks. You can um, paint the background. You can, uh, it's just a lot you can do with it. Just getting it right where it needs to be right here. I wanted some new pillows and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna make my own. I can get the colors I want. Okay, let's see. Yes, this is like Magnolia. That's right, it is. You're right, Joycey. But do they have do they have any that are big like this? This is what I meant. I have I've used some of the little um, signage type. Or did I? No, I don't think I did. Well, this is uh, Amy Howard. Amy Howard at home. So, um, if, have you used this one? And how do they compare? The only drawback is you do have to um, clean it right away. And I, I didn't bring mine. So what I do have, you know, for paint pours, I use this uh, washing machine pan, which my washing machine died, y'all, right before Christmas, by the way. And I just went online because, you know, I had to wash sheets. And my mom was coming. I just had to get some stuff done. I just went online and ordered the first one I saw at Lowe's. And they actually delivered it the next day. I couldn't believe it. I mean... The washing machine is a washing machine to me. I just got... I had a front loader for the last two washing machines of the last 15 years, and I just, I'm tired of bending over. 
<laughs> you know. So when my dryer dries, I guess I'll change that as well. Let me see. I'm using, I'm looking at my chalk couture has some large ones. Oh, okay, Pam. Um, Pamela's used them. They're all pretty good. Um, you looked and could not find. Well, Denise, um, I will find it for you. I do have an affiliate link. Um, but I will, it's called, um, oh, and you know what, guess what, just go on the link, because they, I mean, go on the website, because they have, um, 23% off right now, and if you just, I think it's new year is the code, and this is called birds and branches or something, and it's a mesh stencil, okay? It's not a mylar stencil, so you may have it, but it's under, it's under stencils. But yeah, they, they do sell applicator. I just didn't buy one. I knew I had something I could use. It's just a little scraper. You could use a, you know, a little plastic putty knife. You could use, like I said, I used a credit card and it did great. How pretty would this be on the wall? I just, I don't know. I'm starting to, I've, I've been in a, I wouldn't say a creative rut, but I've just, I'm just like, mm, nothing is appealing to me right now. And I'm just like, okay, I gotta do something different. I got to do something different. That's the problem. So, I found this, and I had already had these pillowcases that I was going to uh, stamp on. And I just decided I will just try it. I'll go ahead and try it. So, I did practice it this morning, and I love it. Get some more on here. Here, let me just do this real quick, just in case. Um, yeah, here's my, I might get a cup of coffee or something if you order it through my link. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so yeah, so if just go on that uh, link, look for, um, at the top on the menu, look for stencils. It is a stencil. Okay, I'm getting off. And I guess you can check it too, if, just to see. Oh, yes. Yeah, it did. It did clean up pretty well. I have a sink in my laundry room, and so I did just kind of stick it in there. There's no smells to this. That was one thing I think I was worried about because I used some of Amy Howard's wax one day. It was with my Creative Junkies, I think. I don't know if y'all remember, but, um, oh, it smelled so bad. <laughs> and I thought, and I got so such a headache. So I don't know why, I guess I thought all her stuff was like that, but it is not. This, you don't even smell it. There's no smells whatsoever. And it comes in lots of colors, and it comes in metallics, and you can mix the colors. So, like, you know, if you get a blue and a green, you can mix those. Uh, you know, get something, just, just get something different. And you have to be careful because you, you remember the colors you mix, and it just turns to mud. So you can't you can't do red and green. Can't do orange and blue. Not unless you want a brown. Sometimes we want a brown, right? And 
and apparently this goes on anything, y'all. So you know how I like to paint glass and, um, you know, it just goes on anything. But I'm really intrigued with it being on, on fabric because um, I'm wanting to make, uh, I would love to put, a, put it on some curtains, you know. Let's see, is, is this still going from all the way over here? I can't tell where my thing ends. So I'll just do it all the way. Oh, no, I'm getting off here. Yeah, I'm getting off. I gotta be careful there. I don't wanna just scrub it and it turned to a big blob right there on the corner. It's, um, I got fine bone. Let me just shut the door. I can't believe you can hear that. Here, I'll just turn it off. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, I don't know if y'all know. Paul Feinbaum, he's our, he's the sports guy. And I, uh, I've just been listening to <laughs> what's going on in the sports world, recruiting wise. And so, and when people play, so Ole Miss is playing tonight, football, Alabama is playing basketball. I think I have this a little crooked, but it's okay. Finished Dexter last night. Is anybody watching Dexter? And I'll keep bringing this. Amy Howard paint or stencil you're sharing? Um, I'm sharing my link because I, I did sign up to be an affiliate with them. Um, yes, Sharita, that is Maker's Studio is a sister company to them. Hey, Lori, we are um, using a mesh stencil on a pillowcase. I'm just using gel ink. You can heat set it, make it permanent. Um, but yeah, it's not paint. It's uh, gel ink. Gel ink. Okay, and this is the color Hold Your Horses. So you can see it's a really dark gray. And I do have some metallic gold, if you, you know, like I, earlier I started trying to mix it a little bit and, and I don't know if you just can't see the gray on here because it's the same color, but the gold did not wash off. Now it is, you know, it's not on the clear part, it's just on the, or the mesh part I should say. It's just on the gray part. that's done and so all you do is peel it back and uh see our wonderful design i guess i'll go which way should i go this way would be best probably pull it down a little bit see how dark it is there's the bird and that's it y'all I gotta lay this down somewhere. <laughs> and I gotta go wash it. But look, I wonder if I can just, um, all right, so I still have the plastic under there. Okay, so I'm gonna 
lay this down. But see, isn't that cool? Look at the detail on that. Really love it. So again, this was big. It was eight. This pillowcase is an 18 by 18 as well. You could also do it on a, now let's, oh, you know what? My, uh, my water bottle is upstairs. Well, that's not good. That's not good. Um, just going to take a wipe real quick. Let's see. Thank you. Hey, Holly. Let's see, who is here? Hey, Holly, thank you, thank you. I know, isn't it pretty, y'all? Can you just imagine seeing that on a, um, on a wall? Look. That's cool. All right, let me go put it in a bucket of water. I'll be right back. Or in the tub, just lay in the tub. Sorry guys, I just was afraid if I left it, I would ruin it, and then I'd be so sad. So sad. Um, so I just went and laid it in the tub, y'all. <laughs> Bathroom over there. And this is just uh, some canvases that are wrapped up still, and they're plastic, so it made a good little board to, to lay my um, fabric on. So will you cover it with a towel? And yes, Holly. Well, probably not a towel with something a little uh, lightweight, like a handkerchief or something. Um, but here it is again. It's pretty dry. Um, but I think I've heard someone say to let it dry like four to five hours. What do y'all think? Um, but that's what I would do just to be safe. You can also put the heat gun on it. I also see a little more gold now that I'm looking at it. I actually do. So I did, so you can mix the colors. So see right there, I have, I have a little bit of gold. I don't know if you can see that in the leaf. Um, of course I had it right there. I probably can't see it good, but I was just kind of experimenting um, to see if you could mix the colors. And you can, but I think what would be pretty is um, like a, a different design and maybe use the silver or something. But God, I just think this is so cute. Really do like it. Parchment paper and heat set, says Sharita. Okay, that'll work too. Yeah, parchment paper. Um, I didn't prep at all, y'all. There was no prep. Only prep would be putting um, some kind of plastic or cardboard, I guess, just to make sure it, it doesn't go through um, to the other side because, you know, it does look like a little bit could have. So I just put a little, um, I just put a little plastic uh, thing. You know, I get these things from the Dollar Tree. They're little plastic cutting boards, I think is what they call them, but y'all, they're just plastic, but they make great little painting uh, things to pour paint out on and stuff, um, so yeah, and so I just did that. Now, I did wash these pillowcases. I don't know, if, I mean, I don't think that was really necessary, but um, anytime I work with fabric or something like that, I'll just wash it, and then I ironed it, because you know, I don't know. I just do. <laughs> so, I did that. That was my prep. That was really all I did. You lay out your stencil, and you just use something to, to put it on with, like, 
something, you know, hard, card type thing. Um, let's see. Oh, there was an ad over, oh my gosh, it's not supposed to go over what I'm doing. Oh uh, yeah, so it is sticky, y'all. I don't have another one. Do I have another one? Mm -mm, that's the only one I have. Um, it is sticky on the back, but yeah, it, um, but you know, I bet it loses its sticky a little bit, right? Because I had already used it and then I had it, um, and it, it kind of will fold and catch itself. So, and when you're in an art room, there's stuff everywhere. So it probably had some, it's probably lost its sticky, but I love this print. Now you could also do it on the back if you wanted to. Um, you would just do the exact same thing. Just make sure you put something under there and because you don't want it to come through on this side. Now this has not been heat set yet. I've not done anything. Um, I did it around 12 o'clock maybe today and it is dry to the touch. So I could, um, I could do the back and I, I don't think I will though. I don't think it needs that. You, I want to match it up, and then it has this, and you know, really, you're just going to show this this part, right? But look at that big bird. I couldn't believe it when I saw that. I had to have it. I had to have it. Um, but y'all, that's it. So I'm starting off with something new, something easy. Um, but what else? What else have y'all used this on? Um, I love it too, Betty. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Sherilyn. Hey, hey, hey. Um, <laughs> smart to wash, sometimes treated with sizing. Okay, yeah, yeah, so, you know, I did used to sew a long time ago, not enough to call myself a seamstress, but I did make some cute little dresses and stuff for my kids, but I did, I, I think I do remember that you always, are always supposed to wash your fabric and dry it, just, um, yeah, just in case it shrinks or whatever. But the thing is, I don't know if I'd ever really wash these um, anyway. You know, if you do something decorative, uh, you know, so, so I guess you decide on that. But I don't know if this is washable. Do y'all know if the ink is washable? It's supposed to be permanent. I know you can wash IOD's ink, you know, after, after it's heat set and all that. So I would think so, but I just... It says washable. Um, it says it's washable. So, I will be getting some more of this. I do have, um, let me show you one other one. you the gold it's really gold um it's a really gold color so if you see it right here um right there it's kind of a um see how gold that is I mean, it's like a queen bee gold it's a real bright yellow gold I can't see it good on the plate. I shouldn't have done it there. Um, I don't have anything else. All right, y'all. Well, unless you have any questions, that is, uh, that's all I have for today. So, it was just super easy. I'm not used to doing something so, so quick. <laughs> it's just like, wow, so quick, right? Um, but I will be doing more, so... Let me know. And, y'all, let me know what you want to see more of this year. I know, um, hey, Lori, thank you. Yes. Okay, it is washable. All right, so the experts have spoken. Um, Sharita loves them. All right. Well, great. I'm glad y'all love them because, I, I, you know, like I said, I wanted to do something a little different. And um, I said, well, I'm just going to try it, you know. And so <laughs> just... Ah! I really love it. I really love it. Um, it's just, I don't know. Um, Sharita has lots of them. Is it a warm heat over parchment paper? 
Um, thank you, Lori. Uh, yeah, it would be, yeah, I wouldn't do super hot, but yeah, just, but you have a paper on it. Can you use any paint? Oh, good question, Denise. Good question. No, you cannot. In fact, you cannot use paint in the mesh stencil. You, you will ruin them. So glad you mentioned that. Um, it has to be a paste or um, one of their gel art, uh, one of their gel inks. I don't know why, but I kept thinking too, why can you not just use paint? But evidently it clogs up the little mesh and you cannot. Um, oh, no steam, yeah, right. Oh great, Denise, great. Uh, let's see. All right, well, get you some, um, get you some gel paste. I, you know, I think that paste works too, and a lot of people have the paste. Uh, and um, um, what is it? A Maker Studio is the sister company to Amy Howard at Home, and so they have the paste. Um, Amy Howard has this, the gel inks, and you know what? Paint Couture has some paste that they sent me to try, and I think all those paints, and, and I think the paste was like by um, uh, Prima. So I think those work, I think, now. Um, so yes, paint dries too quick, says May. Okay, right, so it does, it clogs the mesh. Um, Okay, too loose and will bleed. All right, well, so, well, let's just go with no paint. Let's not use paint because the stencils aren't cheap and uh, you will ruin them. I, I mean, I've had people say they ruined them trying to use just paint, even if they washed it right after. So don't, don't, uh, don't be tempted to shortcut that because, uh, yeah, you just don't want to do that. Um, so, but anyway, that's it guys, and I will be back. I will think, uh, I'll be thinking of some other stuff, but will you, will you do me a favor? You know, sharing is caring. So if you will do this for me real quick, and let me know what y'all want to see this year, okay? It's almost a new year. Again, I'm getting a little, um, I just want to do some different stuff, I think. Uh, I love the other stuff, but I, I just, I need to add something. I've got to for my... I don't know. My creative brain wants to do something a little different. This has satisfied me for a little while. So y'all give me some, um, give me some things that y'all want to see, okay? And that would be very appreciative. All right. Thank you, Kitty. Yes, you can do this. Y'all saw it was easy. So it's so quick, right? It's just wipe it on, peel it off. Most the hardest thing is to wash that stencil, okay? Wash your stencil. All right. Exciting new area of crafting. Yes, Meg, we're gonna be doing some new stuff this year, okay? New stuff, new products, um, new tutorials, all right? So y'all have a great evening. I so appreciate you joining me and I'll see you soon.